Welcome back to the Sports Max Zone. We're turning our attention now to the sport they call the Sweet Sands. International level boxing will make a grand return to Jamaica with the staging of Rumble in the Sun at the National Indoor Sports Center in Kingston on the 11th of November. The main event on the card will set two former heavyweight champions, Donovan Razor Ruddock and James Lights Out Tony squaring off in what promises to be an exciting counter. I, encounter. I should say that although James Tony had won a world heavyweight title, he was a middleweight champion, super middleweight champion, light heavyweight champion, cruiserweight champion, so he's a, a champion in five different weight classes. And joining us on set, organizer of the fight card, uh, CEO of Red Ground Productions, Cleopatra Ruddock, and one of the contenders, Donovan Razor Ruddock. Welcome, Donovan, and your daughter, Cleopatra, on the Sports Mat Zone. Really, really great to have you. Thank you. Very um, much. I, I just introduced you there in the way that the ring announcers would. Yeah. Michael Buffer and um, Jimmy Lennon Jr., yeah. some of those guys as ring announcers. Who, who, which ring announcer gave you the most um, <laughs> vibe as you were about to fight? I'm being honest with you. At that time, I'm not even hearing them. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not, I don't hear anyone yeah. then. Especially your Mike Tyson fights, oh because you, you boxed them twice. I, I, have, I didn't hear anything anyone said. After I got in the ring, yes. and I'm, 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 in, um, I'm ready to engage, Yes. I don't hear no one. Yes, I understand. It's a matter of focus. Yeah. We're going to talk a little bit about, about your career a little later on, or the, the prime part of your career, because you're, you're coasting now, and you're getting ready for an exhibition bout against uh, James Lights Out Tony. But this is an initiative, Cleopatra and Donovan, to boost boxing in Jamaica, which is the native country for both, both of you, and um, a country that has produced outstanding boxers in the past, um, world champions and so on. What triggered this move? Cleopatra, let me start with you. Well, we visited my dad's hometown, Red Ground, and he went to see his primary school and we saw that there was a need there and they needed a lot of resources, renovations of the infrastructure. So they were at the point where they were over full with students and they had to actually turn away students. Yeah. So my dad was just like looking at it and we were saying like, how can we help? How can we be of service to the community? And then while we were on that same trip, we visited all the different gyms in Kingston and we saw the same thing. And we were just saying, like, okay, let's partner with the Jamaican Boxing Board. We've been watching them with their Gloves Over Guns initiative, their youth development program. And we said, well, it's inevitable that my dad's going to get back in the ring. <laughs> Why not make an impact while doing so? So it's been about 50 years. So we said, Jamaica, he hasn't fought there. Let's, let's do it. Yeah, you said 50 years since uh, international high-level heavyweight boxing. I guess you would be referencing the... Ali and Fox. The Ali... The no. Foreman Fraser fight yeah, back in January 1972 when Foreman knocked Fraser down six times <laughs> and took, took the heavyweight title away from him. I know, I know. Mm. He was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> that was a scary bout. Yeah. Um, I was probably 10 or 11 years old at the time, didn't, didn't see it, but yeah. I knew people who went to the bout and when they came back early, I said, what, what, are, we, what are you doing back already? The fight lasted less than two rounds, so it was, it was tough. But Razor, yeah. you, since your migration from Jamaica okay. to grow up in Canada, um, you have achieved a lot in the sport. Um, talk to us a little about your, your, your Jamaica experience, because you were telling me off here that you used to beat up some guys at school, <laughs> and maybe that's no, where no. Your, your boxing started. No, or, my, or you didn't want me to say that? No, no, that's okay, it's, it's reality. Um, I, I was born to fight. So when I used to go to a primary school, I, I used to just fight for fun. Mm -hmm. So a lot of the kids, they, um, uh, they, they got upset with me one day. About five of them were following me home, right, mm -hmm. to beat me up. But I, I'm listening to them talking behind me, walking behind me, mm -hmm. and they're going to beat me up. But they waited too long I, to, before I get to my house. Mm -hmm. I was just right there, so I ran to my house. And I was so bad that I had a stack pile of rocks in yeah. front of my gate too. Yes, yes. Cause that's how our neighborhood was, eh? Yes, yes. And we start stone war, and one guy got hit and almost got. Hit. So the cops came for me when I was young, when I was like 11 years old. For real? 
oh, let me. So I was scared at, at that time. I, I was trying to get to my father, because he was at my, the field, yeah. and I couldn't get there, so they took me down to Old Harbor, and they, 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 you know, my father come and get me. I was about 11 years old. This is um, the Old Harbor Police Station? Yeah, Old Harbor Police so Station. So you're in big trouble as an 11-year-old? <laughs> Because it was a rock. The guy who um, got hit with the rock yeah. was not even in the fight. He just, what, what's going on? And, yeah. and the rock caught him. Eh? Yeah, exactly. And I, I couldn't. So anyway, they brought me down there. I was young and everything like that. And the situation. Now, um, let's just jump to Canada now. I got to Canada and we're in class. And we're going out to play ball. And these kids are alienating me because I just come from Canada, Jamaica. Like, yeah. And I said, whoa, 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 whoa. We're gonna play soccer or we're gonna fight. Which one you want? <laughs> <laughs> Are you, did, you, did you get in trouble for that? Oh, no, no, no. We played. We played they, they played with me. Okay, that's what I mean. Yeah. But they didn't like it, eh? Yeah. So they came to my house. They know where I live in, um, in Toronto, and they came to my house where I was playing marble, and about five of them came to my house mm -hmm. to beat me up. So I said, I remember I got in trouble in Jamaica, right? So I said, I'm not gonna do that now. So I said, the biggest guy, Tell you what we're gonna do. I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do to all of you, okay? <laughs> Five of you. <laughs> Let's make a ring and put the biggest guy in there and I, I'll take him. So we did that, eh? And the guy was, his, his nose was real straight, eh? Yeah. And I'm just, and, and my target is that. Yes, the nose. So he's, I'm, and we went, went in the ring and we, I'm looking at him, looking at him, I look at him, and he, BAM! Yeah. His nose just splattered all over his face. <laughs> And it, I've never seen him again. They took him up, yeah. walk him out on, um, to his home, yeah. and I haven't seen him again. How, how old were you then? Oh, I just got to Canada. I was about 12 years old. Wow. So you, you, I, I, you, you, a, you're, you're a born fighter. Oh, yeah. I love to fight. Yeah. yeah. Are, are you, <laughs> Cle Cleopatra, your, your, your dad, you know, boxed some of the greats in world boxing. Mike Tyson, Lennox Lewis, and so on. Um, lost to them, though, but did beat fighters like Greg Page and Michael Dokes, who were big world heavyweight contenders at the time. Um, what's the thinking behind James Tony as the opponent for this exhibition bout coming up on the 11th of November? How, how did he become available? Well, a lot of the legends were dodging my dad. <laughs> and Dodging but, him? Yes. Yeah, dodging him. So yeah. we had tentatives, yes. And then when it came time, they had someone scout him out and say, oh, no, <laughs> he may be at this age, but he's in great shape. But James Tony, he's a Hall of Famer, and I know my dad is looking for someone who's going to actually take this serious and put on a great show and compete. Yeah. Um, James Tony is 55 years old. Mm -hmm. Razor is 59 years old. I, yes. Yeah. Your, your eyebrows just raised. You didn't know he was 55? <laughs> actually, I don't really care because I don't know. I, I don't really watch age because after I, I, I test out my age, yes. because I was living in Jamaica in Stony Hill, right? Yes. And I, um, I test up my age with a guy named Powerhouse up there, okay? Yeah. <laughs> and it, my age, one. Yes. So I realized that age don't have anything to so do how, with it. So how old were you when you tested Powerhouse? I was, uh, I was 49. And he was how old? 22. 20, and you beat him up? I beat up everybody. Yeah. <laughs> 22, 23, or a, any age. Yeah. Okay? So, so, so James lights out Tony's in trouble? On, for the 11th of November? I'm, I'm, I'm telling you the truth. I can't hit James with, my, with all my shots. Yes. Because... It would hurt him. <sighs> yeah, but the fact is, I remember watching the exhibition bout between Mike Tyson and... Um, Roy Jones. Roy Jones a couple of years ago, and it was disappointing. <sighs> it, it did appear to me as if Tyson didn't really want to hit Jones too, too heavily. And <laughs> this matchup is similar because Tyson is a genuine heavyweight and Roy Jones was a... A super middleweight, turn light heavyweight, and James Tony is similar here. So, um, well, is, are, are we gonna see a cagey exhibition bout, or do you want to hurt the young chap? Listen, I, I never really go in there to hurt people until they start talking. Yes. But I'm I'm looking forward to test my skills against James because James is fast. So it's not about knocking him out or anything. I just want to see how fast he is yes. or if he can touch me, if he can even hit me. Yes. Okay? Me knocking him out, I know I can do that. Yes. Okay? You know you can do that. I, yeah. I know I can do that. I'm one not of, asking. One of your strengths as a heavy was your, was your speed. You had punching power, we know that. But yeah. one of uh, your dad's strong points, Cleopatra, was his speed as mm -hmm. a heavyweight. Not many heavyweights are as quick mm -hmm. as Donovan Razor Ruddock was. So... 
I, I think um, if you look at the matchup between James Stoney and Razor Ruddock coming up on the 11th of November in Kingston, it could be a matchup of speed because Tony is also speedy. That's what I'm looking forward to. I want to see if he's fast enough to touch me. I'm being honest. Yes. I, because I know James is fast. Yes. But I have I changed my style of training for the, since my, the last 10 years. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a different style now. I, I have a cross between karate and boxing. Okay? Yes, yes. It's lethal. Okay, yes. I can't use all of it on, on James. Yes. But I want to see if he can touch me. Yes. That, that, that's all. I want to see if he can even hit me one time. Yeah. All right. We, we're going to go to the break now, uh, Cleopatra and Donovan Razor Ruddock. But before we do, I just want to show our viewers something Mike Tyson said about Donovan Razor Ruddock after he <laughs> fought him because he's, he never knew he punched so hard. Tyson said he punches like a mule kicks. Oh my God, he punches so hard. A couple of times he hurt me, but my chin is like concrete. Nothing can stop me. Now this was primetime Mike Tyson uh, talking after a brutal bout with Donovan Razor Ruddock, who is our guest here with his daughter Cleopatra. When we come back from the break, we talk a little bit more about uh, Donovan Razor Ruddock's career and his upcoming exhibition bout with James Lights Out Tony, the 11th of November in Kingston, Jamaica. Back after this. And we're talking boxing here, and we have two very, very special guests in the studio, former world heavyweight champ uh, Donovan Razor Ruddock and uh, his daughter Cleopatra Ruddock. And uh, they are talking to us about the Rumble in the Sun, which is an exhibition uh, main card bout between Donovan Razor Ruddock and James Lights Out Tony coming up on the 11th of November in Kingston, Jamaica at the National Indoor uh, Sports Complex. And uh, Cleopatra is CEO of uh, the promoting company for this event. And uh, she also played soccer, collegiate soccer for the United States and represented Jamaica in under 19 football. Yes. In, 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 in the past. Yes. So um, you, you, you're a sporting daughter of this big international heavyweight champ. Yes. I <laughs> grew up with sports. Yeah, I love you, sports. Um, Muhammad Ali and Joe Fraser had daughters who boxed. You were you were tempted to box like your dad? No, but when we were living in um, when we were living in Jamaica when I was younger, football was like the biggest thing. So yes. you know, I it just, still is. Yeah, yeah, I pick I picked it up at that, and it, I just loved it. Loved being on the yeah. on plane and playing. Yeah. And Risa appears that he wanted to say something just no, now when I, I suggested say, I, that. I was saying I was saying Muhammad Ali's daughter, she um, uh, Layla Ali. Layla Ali. She fought on my first fight. Yes. was on my 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 card with um. Uh, Jose Robalta. Jose Robalta. Yeah. Who you beat. Yes, you beat Robalta. He was yeah. a tall, tall guy. Wasn't yeah, he? yeah. He went 12 with Tyson also. Yes. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, he did. <coughs> I, I, I remember that. And then he was talking, though. He yeah. was talking, too. Yeah, and that gets you upset. So if I James don't really get me upset. I, I just prove, have to prove to him that yeah. stop talking. So if, if James Tony arrives in Jamaica and starts to talk about beating up on Donovan Razor Ruddock, um, that, would, that wouldn't be a good idea for him, would it? Nah. It, it's better yeah. he just comes and be humble and calm and, <laughs> and, 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 and does some acting like he did uh, because he played Joe Fraser in the Muhammad Ali movie. Which, he did? Which Will Smith starred in. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, 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 James Tony played Joe Fraser in that oh, movie. He, listen, he's a, he's a tough kid. I know I, he I, is. I, a, I'm not taking away nothing from him, mm. but I'm talking to you after 50 years of fighting. Yes. And listen to the way I'm talking to you. Yes. That means I don't get hit. Yes. And and his, and and I don't, his power is not close to Tyson. Yes. You or, understand? So or Lennox Lewis. Or any of those. Yes. I, those are big, big hitters. Yes. Okay? Yes. And I handle those. So anyway, I'm not worried too much about it. I, I don't want to look like I'm overconfident. Yes. Three people say, oh, he's overconfident. Yes. But I, I'm confident in what I but do. But he, he is a quality fighter, uh, Cleopatra, because he, as I said, won world titles at middleweight, super middleweight, yeah. light heavyweight, mm -hmm. cruiserweight and uh, heavyweight and he was one of only three boxers who had beaten Jamaica's Mike McCallum. Yes. Yeah, that no, is he, true. I'm I'm not taking away nothing from him. Eh? Yeah. But I I I understand boxing and I know what it takes to win. Yeah. He, your last professional fight was back in 2015. Yeah. His last professional fight was back in 2017. Mm -hmm. it was just With, not, too, not too long ago. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So maybe he is he is more 
aligned no. to being ready than you are. No, no. Look why, at why do you say that? Yeah. Can you look at me and tell? Um, you'd have to take your shirt off. Jesus, oh. if, I, if I take a shirt off, I will blow the thing. Because I, I, I don't want Tony to see me have a shirt off. <laughs> he, you may back out of the fight. I don't want nobody he, to see you. If he sees the chisel I don't want chisel nobody buses. to see me until it's time to see me. Yeah. That's why I wear these clothes. Yeah. But well, you know look. what? Um, James Tony, I, I don't want to pour cold water on this, but... Yeah. The last time he fought, he was 249 pounds as a, Are as you a pro. Are kidding me? Yeah. Yeah, his yeah. last bout, he was So was he, was, was he overweight? No. Obviously, yes, because his body frame is he that look, of a middleweight. He looked fat. Does he look, did he look fat? Yes, he did to me. Yeah. So why you brought that up? <laughs> because I, I am trying to prepare you for the <laughs> opposition that you will face. What? what, what, well, what he, he's he's trained, though. Yeah. Yeah. I know, though. but he's heavy. I'm, I'm saying that although he is a genuine middleweight, yeah. body frame person, mm -hmm. yeah. he has put on bulk over the years mm -hmm. and carried it well enough to win a world. Not It wasn't an WB or IBF yeah, or yeah, WBC yeah. title. It was one of those IBO or WB something titles, you know, the alphabet soup. So <laughs> it, it wasn't a major world title, but he did win a world heavyweight title, which suggests that... Um, he could handle himself at that weight. The kid, the, listen, we what's, can, your, what's your weight at the moment? My weight? Yes. I'm going to tell you after I finish, tell you what I was saying. Yes. You, obviously, we have to respect James Tony. okay? He's yes. been in the game for a long time, and I'm not going to underestimate him, yes. okay? I'm not going to underestimate myself. Right now, I'm weighing 250. 250? Yeah. I, I, and I, I'm telling you, yeah. it's a different 250 from any other 250. Yeah. And you're 6'2". 6 6'3". 63 and James James Tony is about about 510 511 511 Yes Tyson height Tyson's height yeah. Okay You scared Tyson when you fought him He admitted after the fight I, I, that there were moments in the fight that he felt threatened by your power My um, my power right now yeah. is five times as much as Tyson I know you probably don't believe it but that but, can't be Oh I know you probably said that You mean five times as much as Tyson now no, five as much as I had back in the days. Oh, your power now is five times more than it was in 91 when you fought Tyson? But how could we believe that, Razor? My brother don't believe it, but I, I, if I let you feel... Cleo, Cleo, do you believe your dad? He's been training for almost 15 years, so... 15 years? Yeah. If, 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 I, let you, if I let you feel my shoulder... I feel his shoulder. <laughs> if I let you feel my shoulder, you realize, you'll say, okay... <laughs> So why aren't you still boxing then? I am still boxing. No, I mean for world titles. I am. I, 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 listen, first of all, the, the, the reason why I'm doing this right now yes. to is, to, is to introduce myself to the younger generation because apparently they don't know who I am. Yes, and, but they should. And, they know, need to read the boxing history. And when I was in Canada, they betrayed me. Because if you look at my last fight, it was a rabbit. They, they can't hit me, so they go behind my back. I hit me in the back of my head, okay? Yes. Take a look at it, okay? Yes, yes. All of them that I lost, they have to cheat, okay? Yes, yes. They hit me, rabbit punch me and get it. Yes. So I, I come to Jamaica to start fresh. Yes. Box in front of my own family. Yeah. And, uh, and people of Jamaica. Because yeah. I never fight in Jamaica before. We are all anxious to see you. Uh, Cleo, um, tell the viewers why they should come to watch James Lights Out Tony take on your, dad, your dad, Donovan Razor Ruddock on the 11th of November. Well, it's going to be a legendary match. You have two legends going facing off that have contributed tremendously to the sport of boxing. They have cemented themselves in the, the sport as well. And they both are very talented and in great shape at this moment right now. Mm -hmm. And it's going to be epic. It's going to be epic to see the art of boxing. Yes. Look how well he's speaking right now. He, and I know everyone sees him running around the road downtown. And they're both taking it very serious, dedicated to what we're doing and the cause. Yes. And they want to put on a show because overall, we want this to be an annual thing so we can continue to help the sport build here in Jamaica. Yeah. So that's why we got to make sure that we, we put on a show. Cleopatra Rudd, <laughs> thanks for your presence here on the Sports Max Zone. Daughter of Donovan Razor Ruddock, who fought Mike Tyson and Lennox Lewis and beat big names in world boxing like James Bone Crusher Smith, Greg Page, Michael Dokes, Jose Ribalta, and he will be fighting in Jamaica on the 11th of November at the National Indoor Sports Center.
And uh, that will be up against James Lights Out Tony, the American who is challenging him in an exhibition bout. And uh, Ruddock promises power <laughs> and class. Thanks for joining us on the show. You're, thank, you're welcome. Thank I'm you. glad for thank having you. Yeah, thank you back, for having back me. with more on the Sportsman Zone after this. Yeah.